Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out on NBC4i.com, August 10th, 2018. And I'll leave the link to this article in the description box. Not even a week ago, I did an article on a man that lost all four limbs from a dog lick. Now get this, woman dies from infection caused by dog lick. What the hell is going on, (laughs) y'all? Woo, I never seen nothing like this before. Two of them in less than a week. But this one died. The other guy survived, but this woman died from it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play this video. Four times in love, win the lottery twice. And that's all wherever this is supposed to be. Her husband, Dan, is still in shock. He thought she had the flu. General antibiotics that they put her on. Within two days at Wheaton Franciscan Hospital in Franklin, Sharon was dead at 58 years old. I feel like I got robbed. Uh, Lost my right arm. My best friend. Doctors told him she tested positive for capnocetophaga. They say the bacteria found in the saliva of most dogs, cats, even some humans, is rarely problematic, almost never deadly. But when certain people come in contact with it, it can have devastating consequences, like for this West Bend man and Sharon. Especially, like, I had no knowledge and there's no tracking on it. Sharon's son wants more answers, since there's no real tracking of how many cases there have been. What do you want people to know? To always be more cautious. People think nothing of getting a just a simple dog bite, but even something so simple can go wrong. Wow. It sure went wrong in this case. So this happened in Wisconsin. A Wisconsin woman is dead due to an infection believed to have been contracted from a dog lick. Sharon Larson had been, um, she had gotten a puppy um, and a a nip at her and caused a severe cut. So it must have been like, you know how puppies play and they'll just gnaw and bite on you and stuff like that. A day after she took the puppy to the vet for a checkup and Sharon was rushed to the hospital, I was told she could get struck by lightning four times and live and win the lottery twice, said Sharon's husband. Okay, just like he did in the video. So let me just go down a bit. Sharon tested positive for Capnoctopriga, a virus found in saliva of most dogs and cats. It's not usually a problem but it can be a devastating, it can be devastating for some people. But it certainly was in her case because she died. Um, now, the Center for Disease Control said people that get this infection from the dog lick will experience blisters around the bite, wound within hours of the bite, redness, swelling, draining pus, or pain at the bite wound, fever, diarrhea, or stomach pain, vomiting, headache, and or confusion, muscle, or joint pain. The CDC says up to 74% of dogs have this uh, bacteria, Capnoxitophica, in their mouth compared to 57% of cats. In July, a Wisconsin man lost all of his limbs after contracting a similar virus. You know, what what are the chances of two people from Wisconsin having this? You know, I bet if they did further investigation, they might find something about, I don't know, you, you just don't know. It just seems 
odd that these two people, less than a week apart, one dies, one lose all their limbs, and they're both in Wisconsin. I'm just saying. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family. Thank you.